Hey everyone, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Today, I want to play the robot. I don't know, I just kind of want to give it a go again. That should be fun. Did I? I did. Alright, I remembered. So I got the bundle of wands, which is pretty good. Now I need to kill the beholster a few times. That's, uh, not the easiest thing to do. Also, I still don't know what this guy wants, but don't tell me. Oh wait, okay. All right, well. I guess uh, that's for winning the like shooting mini game. I did kill the past. Okay, I'm gonna just real quick swap to another character where I have killed the past and see if he's like, you know, hey man. Just to see, because now I'm really curious, because that's more than he's ever said to me. Oh, never mind. Alright, that guy still is a mystery to me. And that is okay. Let's go buy something. What do we have? Right here. I know there was something I wanted in here. And it was absolutely the magic lamp. And then there was something else. I may as well just buy the icebreaker. Get to zero, no problem. Let's do this. So the robot is a very difficult character. That's okay. I just won't do super well. But I will try to do super well. And that's what counts. I have electricity on all of my shots, which is pretty sweet. So I can do this so that they get shocked when they're in it. Sadly, it doesn't really work as well on those guys because they track stuff on the ground themselves. Still, my shots do that and it's awesome. And that was my use item spills the water. Stuff like the Dowser and the Siren are really good guns for this character because the Dowser can just fill a room with water and then you shoot anything else and it'll electrify it. Everything will get hit a lot. You don't have to use a lot of Dowser ammo to fill the room with water. It's great. The Siren electrifies itself. So all the time you're shooting, you're just electrifying the ground, no problem. God dang it, I got stuck on the wall. That's a dumb hit. I don't feel bad about that, though. Because that's just the wall hitboxes, because the game is technically 3D and then tilted. So the walls stick up a little more than it. It's, it's just... just it, that didn't happen. Anyway, the walls are higher up than they seem like they should be based on the perspective. So I still mess up those hitboxes because they are ridiculous sometimes. So only with this character do I manage to get hit so much on the first floor. Like most characters I just start getting hit on the second floor for no reason, but this character, just because it's harder to win with, I do worse right away. And I really just straight up don't know why. Which sucks. But hey, what are you gonna do? I was wondering if I was ever gonna hit another shot. What's a bummer though is I haven't found any more cape dudes. And I could have rescued three of them. Well, let three of them go not really rescuing, but it's not killing, you know? Alright, this is fine. Hey man, calm down. Also, that quick restart, only time I've ever done that. I didn't actually know that there was a quick restart thing in the menu, because I never looked for it. Until right then and right there. Well, that was lucky. But I'll take it. Key, again, yeah, I know, ignore it so the shop will sell it. I'm simply too lazy to go back sometimes. Also, it's just been really rare that every chest has been one that I really wanted to open. Definitely not doing a secret floor on this character. See, like, I'm not gonna open that. Well, that's pretty sweet. I 
Hey, man. Let's see if he comes back, like, immediately. I'm listening. So now, if I catch him in time, which I didn't, I mean, I didn't have another gun, so it doesn't matter. But if I caught him in time, apparently he would leave that item alone completely for the rest of the, like, floor. So I wanted to try that out, just to see if I could save that ammo for myself for later. Not like it's easy to catch the rat twice on the same item, but it is possible, apparently. And if you get the timing, you, you win that item in particular. Snowballer is good because it destroys enemy shots because it explodes. So that's neat. I like this face. This is a good face. It also leaves like an ice trail, but I don't think the ice trail would electrify. And that's okay. It doesn't have to. Still, I'll totally test it. Hey, the water barrel is in here, except I'm still not going to the secret level on this character because that is a ridiculous idea. Go away. Neat. Armor for free. While I go buy one more armor. May as well stock up so that when I start playing badly next floor or this floor, I have stuff. Okay, it's not a mimic. I'll open it just because I kind of want a gun. I have not heard this thing, or it just because it says "creature cover your ears." I figure it's gonna be ugly, but I haven't heard it. Oh, that's not bad. Nor have I seen it. This is the first time I've run into it. Okay, so first off, let's Gatling Gull. I pressed space just so you know. It just didn't work. As usual, because I was rolling, I guess. And I tried to press space at just the wrong frame in my movement, my roll, whatever. So it does work. And I just was not paying attention there. That's kind of neat. Oops be paying attention. Gatling Gull is absolutely the hardest first floor boss, though. Wow. Still not, like, four hits difficult, just, like, whatever, man. Good roll timing, as usual. So this run's already pointless, as is every run with this character. For me. This is a solid item. Just whatever, I'll just keep going. I don't know what has happened to me. Also, I really did try to use that blank, but after the first blank I did not try to use another. Cause whatever man. My life is over already. I should really restart, but I like my guns. Oh, hello, dudes. I'll screech at him. Really? Are you invincible? Nah, that'll kill in one hit, kind of figured. So Lead Maidens are one of the only enemies that I will early game use a non-starter weapon for. And with this character, your starter weapon is so good that it's like totally worth using it for longer than normal. So, that's always nice. Oh, 
Okay. I thought this was gonna be a, like, combat shrine room. Because of the lighting being different and whatnot, and it being a just large open room. I thought that, I liked that. Like, that was gonna be a good time. Those are useful rooms. I really wonder why, like, is it just a certain frame in your role where you just can't blank? Is it something to do with the game reading keyboard input? Am I just terrible? No, I mean, it has to be either the keyboard input not reading properly in certain instances, or it has to be that there's, like, a frame where you just can't blank while you're rolling. But I'm curious which of those things it is. that would be like super awesome if that stopped happening because like I try to use a blank when I recognize I need to and it never works because I'm mid-roll or particular frame of an animation or something I it's really weird but sometimes I don't miss the timing which very much confuses me So here we are. Table tech rage for uh, damage boost. I'll go get like two bucks. Totally buy table tech rage because I can. Damage boost when I flip tables feels pretty good. I'm back at starting health. Of course I should be at 10 health, but we're gonna ignore that. I don't know what you're talking about, basically. I buy that now, just because it could be useful at any time. And then I'm gonna forget I have it, but ignore that part. Alright. Screecher doesn't seem that good. But Big Iron, Big Iron is a good dude. Oh, we've got the Door Lord, so I'm probably dead. Because I fought this thing once and it seemed like it cheated. Well, that was my own fault. Those are curving. Oh, that's super weird. Man, I almost just got hit by that. Easy RNG, man. That's a cool attack. Now that I'm kind of understanding it a little more. Ah, oh, but Door Lord, no. Oh my god, dude. Nope, I'm done with that. Oh god, it got so fast. Alright, well I killed the Door Lord, but like problem is I only have one health and he didn't give me any more. So I mean, I got that done. Dark marker, big bang. All right, I guess I have to try this out. So yeah, I got like totally destroyed, but I killed the boss for the first time, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so what? what is... I can't like charge it as far as I can. Oh, I can, okay. What, what, what? Oh, nifty. I just need a particular open space for that and then it gets pretty cool. Oh, hey, look, something that tries to save me. Oh boy. Gain armor when damaged several times. So just straight up gave me two armor right there. Because it's a nice guy like that. Good. Just... You didn't see that. That didn't happen. I wish that I could, like, play half as well with this character. 
as with any other character on any other average run. Considering I make it like, I beat the dragon for like five runs in a row practically. Neat. Ah, cool. This thing kind of cool. <laughs> you reload, drop an eye. So I have some really good guns right now. And I was thinking of the snowball, or I was thinking of the glacier. Sadly, so I was wrong about it destroying enemy bullets. Sure, why not? Anyway. The moral of the story is I only play this badly with this character. Considering I probably, like, right now I've taken, like, I don't know, at least 10, 12 hits this run. That's like as many hits as I take in an entire run with any other character. How do I do that with a, like, this weapon is amazing. It's so much better than any of the other starting guns. My use item is pretty useful for annoying enemies. Like, I just, I don't get it. Why am I bad? Neat, pretty good gun. Like, I just wanna like, reset until I start not sucking, but I'm not gonna do that. That's pretty pointless, because it's never gonna happen. I just reset for a whole video. Oh, you're that guy. I was not prepared for that. It's fine. What I am prepared for is to do another run and pretend this one didn't happen. Except that I've got some really cool guns right now. Wow, that was brutal. You just destroyed your fellow bulletkin. Yeah, I was gonna say, if this roll doesn't go off, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, play your animation, let's go again. All right, can I just like not be bad for two seconds now? All right, dang, my two seconds are up. I'm gonna solve this mystery eventually, though. Maybe stop being bad with this character. Like, is there something bad about his starting gun that I just, like, don't understand? Because it seems to me like just a way better normal starting gun. Considering the mag capacity and the electric shots for synergy with anything water. Doesn't seem like it's lower damaged. Pretty sure that these things are dying in the same number of hits. Hey, this thing's pretty cool. It it's a familiar dude. And it doesn't seem to get killed like the freaking cop. He's, of course, two days from retirement, as always. But, like, dude does work. This is a cool room. I haven't seen this before. Okay, I don't need that, sadly. I could use the heart drops for something. I need I need a dude that's like Dark Bomb. Gives me armor for every so many heart drops I get. That's what I need. Those guys kind of suck just because they don't give you any loot. 
and they're really easy, but I still get hit by them every so often, so I, it's not like I can say I never get hit by them and they're pointless, but, you know. Gonna go ahead and not get hit by that dude. I wonder if this dude just doesn't shoot at um, cape dudes. It's an interesting thought. Just because the shop is right there, I'm gonna check it. Guaranteed has a key, and this is the thing that's like immunity to all status effects, which is kind of cool. But he didn't have armor, which I'm I'm keen on buying that. Let's put it that way. I'm very keen on buying armor. Alright. If you say so. Okay, let's take a trek. Make our way. Oh, he died. Make our way to the other chest, basically. Dang, dude, he just killed him on his own. Alright, man. You get open. Hey, it's the actual glacier this time. Now I still look dumb, don't worry about it. Still, that one actually destroys enemy bullets, so... Cool, so there's the thing, but I'm not, I'm not doing it on Robit. So this is pretty effective right here. And like, yeah, they're getting wrecked by all the water. Okay. So we get an armor, we get a master round. It's beautiful. This is the way things should go. And then I've cleared the floor, so we're good to just peace out. Glacier's gonna be good for bosses, I can tell. Which is kind of why I wanted to, like, you know, pick it up last time. I just am dumb and thought that the glacier was the snowballer. Dang, dude, the thing does work. Every time I'm impressed with it. This being the second time I've had it, so, so far, every time I've been impressed. Yep, one shot. I thought so. Oh, wow. I'm right next to the shop, too. Oh, well. I have four keys. It doesn't really matter that much. He has one anyway, but, like, Toad's gonna buy some armor because I have four keys. I think I'm doing pretty well on that particular front. So, sure, that's going to be boss killer, so I may as well get more ammo for it, right? So, this room's going to have a lead maiden in a second. What just hit me? I guess probably the one that leads his shots. And it's going to have a buff dude. So that's the worst part. This room is like butt. Truly awful. 
Oh, nice. Uh, oh, is that hitting the little familiar dude? That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, it's making the noise for it. Oh, heck yeah. So now, every time I do that, it costs 10 more every time. Every time I do that, it adds more chance that I fire, like, a multi-shot. Nice roll timing, as always. At the cost of no extra ammo, so I'll fire. It's just why these active from Nuclear Throne, which is pop, pop. So sometimes when I shoot, I'll shoot two or more for, you know, extras for, like, one or more extras for free. It's useful. I mean, I've got nothing else to use it on. <clears throat> it's not like I'm escaping to get the dude twice. All right, I may as well get more pop pop, just because I can. I totally want to sink all of my cash into this. The only thing is I know I'm not gonna get, like, see, how much health do I have? Hmm. I might be able to give the tunnel guy his six armor for this character. But I don't think that's, like, the best choice. So I probably won't, but, like, this is my best opportunity so far, considering I actually have more than six health. And I'm about to go into the boss of this floor. Get out of here, video game. This guy sells the Elder Blank, which is real good. Okay, I'll go get the other chest first. Since this hopefully probably loops around and finishes. My god, what do I do with all these keys? No, look at that pop pop. That's the good stuff right there. Oh, heck yeah. Angry bullets. Which... Hitting an enemy has a chance to refire the projectile at a nearby enemy. This is good stuff. I'm into that. So this will be fun. Cool. Don't do that. I'm in a corner and I don't like it here. So I'm just gonna like cry a little bit. But we made it out of the corner, which is the important part. I did not have a reason to roll there, but that's fine. All right, another master round. Another armor and the bundle of wands, which we just unlocked. Bundle of wands is pretty neat. Uh, those all have a transmogrification chance. I uh, have only 21, so I can't afford armor from him or another pop pop from the shrine, sadly. So we'll just head on and I guess I'll use the Tommy gun for the next floor. So let's see, right now I have nine health. I could give the dude six, but I, I, I think I'm gonna save my health for now. I think that seems like the smart course of action. Are you kidding me? Like, are you full real? All right. That was like really stupid that that damage happened.
but I hate that room though. So I don't feel all that bad. Cause like normally I do want to stay in this spart the spawning or start like corner that I enter in because that way I won't mess up walking across the things, but I just kind of felt like I had to move there. All right. Well, that was cool. Oh, I thought you were dead. With all the rest of them. Oh, we've got the arm. Because the arm is third floor now, that's crazy. Not a cape, so that's fine. Ah, oh, look at this. Just the dude I totally wanted to see. All right, so we're empty on that. See, it transmogrified. So that's why I want to save it, if possible. So we'll just go back to the robot starting gun. That'll work for me, because the robot starting gun is very good. Also, do you know I totally got a bunch of armor earlier in the run? I'm not, or not armor, uh, ammo. I'm not getting any more. Because now I actually have a use for it, so it's not going to spawn even once. Okay. That guy has the balloon. That's good news. Boom. Arm quest is now onto the second floor, which is like, can't possibly not get that, basically. So I'm, I'm ready to finish the arm quest. I don't know what happens when you do finish, so. This will be a nice adventure for me. Dang, where did I get so much cash? Why is stuff dropping so much cash right now? All right, if you say so. Sucks when the shop needs a key to open. And look at there. Oh, really? I haven't found any keys here? Ring of Mimic Friendship. That's not the Mimic Tooth Ring. That's not the one I want. I don't really want the flare gun, and I don't really need keys right now. And he has no armor. I think I'm gonna save up. Get some hot armor later. Or see if there's, like, another one of those stores selling anything particularly interesting. Not leading my shots enough for that. Yeah, so Pop Pop, clearly really good with this particular gun. I want more Pop Pop though. Like, I would spend all of this money on that if I could. Without any hesitation. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we almost? Is this the last part of the map? Are we like clear now? Not quite. But almost. This way. Nah, I kind of expected it to just dead end, but I don't know how maps in this game work yet. It's not a very intuitive system to me yet. It'll get there maybe eventually. Oh my god, dude. This little guy is too strong. Alright, solid gun. Hey, it's even something that's on the ground. Oh, 
Wait, what hit me? Probably that guy, if I had to guess. That sucks, though. I had no... No time to even think I was gonna get this uh, flawless. Alright, man. That was really close. Nope, it's fine. And I totally would have had it if that didn't happen. Oh well. This is why I have extra health. Alpha, oh man, alpha bullet's really good. First bullet in a mag does more damage. So if I find anything that's like real nice and single shot, then we are like in there. Because that is great. It is pretty significant. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. Dang. Nice, dude. Has a relatively fast reload. I might use this as an alpha bullet type gun. Alright, I think I got it in time. Okay, if I want to use this gun, I do have to use it. Nope, I did not get it in time. Like, this has to be Alpha Bullet if I want to use it effectively. Ah, oh, but. Okay, where's the dude? Well done, lads. Wait, did I really just like let that thing walk into me? Is that what hit me there? Oh my god, did I just get hit by the thing's projectile? Something has gone horribly wrong. Really? Nice, that was beautiful. Good deflection. Not the happiest with how that went, though. Hot. Oh, it's cursed, but it's so good. Oh, it's not cursed. Okay, it's only cursed when the vampire sells it to me. Well, that's good to know. Shotgun full of love is... Like, I love that gun. That was close. Hello. I mean, using this as a single shot gun, the damage output seems to make it pretty balanced. Can't be too upset with this. On to the shop, neat. Okay, so this time I'm fully aware of the spikes. Everyone go away. So yeah, that didn't go super hot. Uh, yeah, I need the Gun Knight Greaves, and I need this armor. If this key costs 30, which it doesn't, I would have bought it. Gun Knight stuff gives you armor every floor, so... Pretty great. Well, good job. Totally didn't just waste it. Okay. Cool. 
I didn't want to shoot you. I wanted to shoot these guys. But that's cool. I have a blank again. God, you do so much work. Oh, I did not want that. Nope, stay in the thing. Cool, so that was like a catastrophe though. Must mean I just missed the first shot. Oh no, he doesn't die to one. All right. Look at him go. He's got it. I figured that if I shot, I would end up wasting and he'd get it before I could like shoot after my long reload, but. All right. Haven't had this before. This will take its sweet time, I'm sure. Don't miss so much. Oh, really, man? That's a special room, though. I can't... Oh, okay, I can. All right, because, yeah. I can get in, I just can't open it. And hopefully that... I think it has to be Helmet Chan. And that means this is the end of the quest line there. So that's good. Because I don't believe that you have to go to the fifth floor for the helmet quest. Makes my life pretty easy. Whatever, you got this. Goodness gracious, please. you. Go this way first. Cool. What are you? Slower me bullets. That'll only mess me up, I'm willing to bet, but don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Gotta say, it really doesn't seem worth it to not just shoot the first bullet, but that room kind of would have been hectic if I hadn't continually reloaded to optimize damage. Dang. But at least I can go finish the helmet quests. I think that's finished, like I said. I'm not certain. You're just a jerk? I know, I am. <laughs> it is madness. I will not watch my feet. Never, I will never be kind to your helmet. As much as I like you. Okay, so I might buy a key. I'm running out of health here. Hmm, interesting. Do I want to get rid of anything? Not really. My guns are good. I will buy your key. Thank you, friend. Nice roll timing as usual. Watching this fire multiple times at once is pretty funny. Anyway, it was kind of dumb that I didn't know hit, but I should have just blanked it. 
Pulse cannon. This thing's pretty good. Guess I'll stick to the M1? I don't know. Doesn't matter that much. We're on the fifth floor though. That's good news. Getting here with the robot. We have our starting health. It's pretty okay. Sweet. Oh, don't do that. God, these are so strong. Okay. I'm gonna take the shotgun full of love. Because I loves it. Good work, man. You're too strong. Literally OP. Okay. Guess I'll take this then. Nice. Great roll timing as ever. Great aim today as well. Is, is, oh, it's over there. How'd you get over there? What are you doing over there? Buddy. Yeah, I already knew I'd get hidden here. If I didn't blank. It's always like that. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. It hit me twice? How did I get hit a second time there? Oh man, I actually think I know what happened. Well, that's a catastrophe. Oh yeah, I know, you're, I'm not. That's not happening. I'm not fully mapping this place out no matter what. You can't make me. Oh, good. My absolute least favorite enemy right there. Got a blank here. Got a blank here as well. Don't have to blank here. Yeah, so I'm dead, but that's fine. This was a good run. We finished numerous things that I did not expect or plan to finish. Ah, no fall damage. That'd have been useful a little bit ago. But you know, don't mind me. Please don't laser me. No, I totally moved above that. No. I wanted to see what was behind that locked pathway. A shellatin, that's a good name. That was a pretty good run though, especially for the robot. That was a really hard fifth floor though, I gotta say. Maybe I could use the Tommy gun more. Bundle of Wands would have been a good solid choice for the couple of enemies that I hated, but like I handled the enemies that I hated all right. Except that Shellatin that apparently I just got wrecked by. <clears throat> ah, but that dodge wasn't hard. It was if only if it lasered that I felt like I needed to do something. I don't know. But Bundle of Wands and Tommy Gun probably could have been more main. I was focused a lot on the Alpha Bullet. Not like a bad thing, but probably could have worked out better. So, things to think about. Uh, let's pick the Hunter just because she's the closest to stuff. I haven't fought the Beholster at all. Three, the Beholster. But you're back. And that's uh, how I know I'm done with that quest, which is pretty neat. So now I get a blast helmet. <laughs> See, I love this. This is like the best. So, yeah. 
Now leave. So, that's cool. Got that done. Go spend some more credits on things. Like, perhaps, the face melter because it's funny. And then call it a day. And that's okay. Uh, today went better than I kind of expected it to. Oh, this dude's here now. So that's neat. So I can get a bunch of stuff that's probably pretty good because this guy sells good stuff. So, you know, that was a mildly successful robot run. Next time, I don't know who we'll play, but we'll play someone and we'll see if we can get to bullet hell. Get an easier fifth floor than this one and maybe we actually are in business. That is it though. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry I was bad. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.